we think linearly about the world, but the world is happening exponentially. And I'll give you just a, a, a vivid example. In the 1840s, uh, the British economist Tom Malthus said, we're in a lot of trouble. We're growing our population exponentially, but we can only grow the food linearly, a result of which we're going to start starving. And he missed the technological move in agriculture. And as it turns out, and you, you and I both know this, we have more issues related to obesity than we do starvation 200 years later. And I think what happens sometimes is you look at something linearly and you say, well, this has to fall off the cliff. You know, in Rickard's case, he's really a big student of currencies and the devaluation of currencies. And we've certainly done that. And I'm happy to explain all that. And Ki Kiyosaki would say the same thing. But I think what they're missing is while that's happening, we have this enormous exponential growth in technology, which is improving our society. We're actually greening the society with eco-friendly things like electric cars and wind power. Our computers are moving faster. Our chips are faster. This sort of technology is bringing us closer together, us talking here on this conference call, this video call. And so what happened was a combination of things. The Fed and the induction of reserve money into the system and that tremendous amount of liquidity and our ability to quickly move to a remote work application during COVID without really missing a beat, at least in the white collar jobs. You know, unfortunately jobs that need hands, you know, waiters, waitresses, service people, they got hit harder, unfortunately. But I think that's the thing that people miss. I'm unbelievably optimistic about the future because I see this exponential arc of technology. And I, I would just caution people not to think linearly because you can grow pessimistic if you think linearly because there's some bad vectors. But we should be able to solve a lot of these problems with technology, frankly. And I think that's some of the things these guys have a tendency to miss.